Uh, OK, so ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is, um, for right now, just kind of go over the basic of at least an exponential function. You guys remember um, I went over the basic of a polynomial, right? Remember that nice little crazy formula, like, oh my god. But what we did is we applied or we used polynomials throughout that whole unit. So it was kind of important just to understand you know, the sum of the polynomials and how it goes down in descending order. So we got to talk about exponential functions. So there's a standard form for an exponential function. An exponential function comes in the form of y equals a to the x, all right? Where a is greater than 0, all right? a also cannot equal 0. I'm sorry. Yeah, a, can, a is greater than 0. I'm sorry, and a cannot equal 1. Sorry. Obviously, because if you have a 1 raised to any power, it's still going to be 1. Sorry. a cannot equal 1, where x is a real number. OK? So if you guys just want to write, um, uh, if we just want to write down you know, some exponential functions, you can obviously say y equals 3 to the um, uh, 3 to the x. That would be um, an exponential function. You could also have <coughs> y equals 1 half to the negative x plus 2. That would also be another example of exponentials. All right? But obviously, we can't have 1 in there. And also, we have to have um, a is going to be greater than 0 All right, for our exponential growth problems. All right? Cool.